Hallelujah. Anxiety in him. Not there is no condemnation Not in him. Amen. So as he is, so am I. Glory to God. Pastor, a lot of times we make it hard. Yes, sir. Because yes. we take what is a finished work mm -hmm. and we make people work for it. That's right. yeah. And we have no right to do that. Wow. We have no right to tell anybody who would walk through this door today and say, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, that they have to do anything else to be where I am in heaven. There's nothing, there is no other requirement. If you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart, then you are saved. And everything else comes with that. Everything else comes with that. So, I don't know who's going who's gonna to speak into your life after this, but I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth of his word. Not as I know it, not as I believe it, but as it is. As it is. And there is no way around it. If we're going to heaven, then we are going, we have the opportunity to go completely differently than a lot of people are told. Because, can I tell you a secret? He's not coming on a rescue mission to get us out of here. Some people say, I have a very dear person um, to me say, I'm just trying to make it in. What? I'm just trying to make it in. Wow. Oh my but God. if we tell the truth, we've all been in. I want to make it in when the trumpet sounds wow. and they declare right. the kingdoms of this world that's have right. become the kingdoms of our God yeah. and of His Christ. Hallelujah. Everything I'm associated with, every person I'm associated with, will be standing in that line saying, we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That's the way it is. Yeah. Because I said that, I know when me and my wife walk out that door, they will come for us. You never sing a team like this. Because it's not about us. It's about what he did on the cross. That's all there is. So, I challenge you. I challenge you. Um, the Bible says, who can separate us from the love of God? And Paul went through a lot. I mean, he named some stuff that would just like, I wouldn't want to go through that. I wouldn't want to go through that. And so we think that he's talking about, you know, we would have to go through that stuff too. But actually, what he's saying is, He's speaking from God's perspective. What is there that could cause me to let go of me? God. Not tribulation, not storm, not peril, ah. not lions. You can't, there's no way around it. There's, David said, if I ascend to the heavens, you're there. Where can I go outside your presence? If I ascend to the heavens, you're there. If I ascend to the lowest pit, you're there also. Where can I go? So David just realized, you know what? You got me, and I appreciate it. Because I, David was the cat that said, though I walk through the valley for the shadow of death, I ain't going to fear no evil. I'm not going to fear evil because you're with me. Now, he said, you lead me beside the steel pool. You lead me through the green pastures. But every now and then, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yeah. even then, yeah. you're with me. And your covenant loyalty sustains you. Amen. Oh, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. That's all I have. Y'all, let's give God a hand for his endeavor.